Hello and welcome back to the second video of speedrunning the grind. If you've not seen the first episode, a quick rundown is it's a short series where we'll be seeing what's realistically the shortest amount of battles you'd need to grind to tier 10 with the use of signals and camos. So far, we have had a total of 4 battles, which has brought us to the Nyaz Sovorov, the tier 3 USSL battleship. And here's a quick screenshot to show you our current progression. The next ship we're going to be working towards in this grind is Gangut, and this is going to require 8300 experience to buy the upgraded hull module and research the actual ship, meaning we're going to need to perform far better and achieve a win to move to the tier 4 in a single battle. With all that covered, we'll head into our first game. Right, here we are in our first battle in the Nyaz Sovorov, and we've gotten much better matchmaking than we did last game, where we got a double carry game in a ship that's got no AA. And, well, at the same time, this thing also doesn't have any, any AA as you can currently see. Now, I mean, it's quite an interesting turret configuration, as you can see, you know, you've got one in the middle on the right side, one in the middle on the left, and overall it just looks generally quite interesting, but I think the one thing we've got to keep in mind is, yeah, that's... That right there, that's a lot of destroyers. We're going to be staying somewhat far back to begin with, as those are going to be the real issues here, as they're going to be coming in. And one thing that is quite apparent in this is that you've not got many repair. Well, uh, well you've got enough repair parties, but the damage controls, they are limited. So that is going to be one of the issues. I mean, thankfully, they are more rapid. So if we do get flooding, then we can put that out. But even so, that is going to be a bit of an issue. Now, as you can currently see, we have got all of the economic or at least the special signals equipped and we've also got the Regia Marina camouflage equipped as well which gets us all the way up to 475% and then alongside that okay, we're gonna just try and hit something maybe we might get the good dispersion and because this is the first game we've also got a 50% now oh, we only got an incapacitation we've got a 50% bonus there too allowing us to get that 525% which is very nice as we do need to get 8.3k experience now I'm really hoping we do win this but we will see if we manage to get that and oh wow okay so it looks like this okay I wasn't aware that that turret was going to actually traverse there which is brilliant and okay this dude's dropping torpedoes gotta be careful here however this lone wolf is is going to be especially alone when he reaches the bottom of the ocean oh please don't kill him with those torps come on can i yoink those can i yoink those i really hope we can ah uh, 5k that was that was genuinely quite awful there actually okay fair enough but that's actually quite an interesting configuration i was not expecting that to be turning around but okay fair enough i'm quite happy with that then if that's the case uh we're going to be mainly dealing with cruisers at the moment but yeah, I'm going to be staying in the cap and I'm going to let a lot of the smaller ships deal with deal with these destroyers as I do not want to get close in the slightest. Yeah, we can see some torpedoes now coming in at the moment, which we really do not want any part of. Now, I've also gone for the basic captain build, as you just saw earlier. And yeah, I mean, it's literally just gone for just for the essentials and as well as that, because obviously this has got, I think it's 36 seconds reload. Yep, 36 seconds. That's going to be that's going to be quite a long time. We're going to be waiting for shells. So I mean, if we do take damage, we may as well at least get a bit of a bonus to our actual reload and be able to get some more shots off. Now maybe these will land nicely. Okay, yep, that's okay. Maybe we can also secure the kill here, as he does look to be. Oh yeah, if we can hit just one shell, perfect. One shell. Okay, it seems like my leading is off a little bit here. I will have to. Just that a bit more. I was expecting him to be going a bit slower. And now we are going to move a bit further up as, yeah, we've got a few people flanking us there. I mean, we are mainly going to want to be going for cruisers. They are bigger and they're going to be giving us not as much XP, but they'll obviously, if we can do such a, like, large amounts of damage with our AP, then that will just be the same as getting a small amount on the destroyer. But I mean, eventually, depending on how. Ooh, okay, well, speaking of which, here's one. Now, I'm going to... Ooh, okay. Good. Okay, this guy is reversing for some reason. Yeah, you know, we'll try and we'll try and hit this this one first instead. Maybe we'll get something lucky. Okay, unfortunately, we did not get lucky. And as well as that, it looks like our Kohlberg has just been taken out as well, which is very, very bad news for me and him. I am going to start running away because I do not really want to have all of these 
attacking me. Okay, yeah, here is the Tendryu. Let's see if we can get some good shots in here. And yeah, we've already been set on fire. Okay. And we... Get some nice shots in. Okay, a bit more damage. I'm going to start loading some high explosive because I am not very comfortable with this. Tatra coming in. And yeah, he's going to be a real issue, especially when his torpedoes come in. So yeah, requesting support. Yeah, okay, that guy... I'm going to start healing now at this point, and... Okay. Yeah, we're just going to try and kite away as best we can. I mean, thankfully this this is uh, a destroyer that's open water gunboating me as he's trying to pursue me, meaning I'm going to have him consistently spotted, and I'm going to have a good chance of actually hitting a good amount of shells on him. Which is what we need, as I say, I mean, we can get more experience from this, and... Come on, I'm waiting for him to actually try and launch torpedoes here. You know what, I think that that's, that's a good enough range. There we go, we knocked out some torpedoes, and now we can start to turn away a little bit. And actually, we've got another... turret on this side, I'm, I'm waiting for said turret to let me fire. Okay, brilliant, we got another hit. I'm going to start turning all the way back around again, whilst these are actually starting to reload. Come on, I'm not going to. I'm not going to fire my repair. Well, my damage control party is. Ooh, he just dodged those. Okay, nice. There we go. We need to be very careful here because this guy is going to launch some torpedoes, and we're going to be in a world of trouble. I think he's launching them now. I'm going to start turning. Just try and get away from those. Oh, okay, come on, come on. Yeah, the turret traverse on these things is very poor, it seems. Incredibly poor turret traverse. Okay, one more. Okay, we've finished him. Maybe we can get some torpedo beats here. I think we can, actually. We can get some torpedo beats. Brilliant, as we have led him astray for quite a while. And now we've got the Fusilier, which is also coming in. Unfortunately, he's coming at a much harsher angle of attack. Hopefully we can get lucky in our shots. Did not get lucky on that one, unfortunately. However, maybe if we're... Uh... Ah, this is bad, this is bad. We are basically a sitting duck at this point. However, these are the last two ships alive, so I've kept them entertained for more than long enough. I'm just waiting for this guy to give me a nice so when he's going to buy his torpedoes. Come on. I was hoping to disable his torpedo tubes. Yeah, he's... Oh, we are... I, th I think it's very obvious we're dead, but maybe we can confirm the kill. Please, maybe, if he doesn't... Wow, that did not kill me. That did not kill me somehow. Brilliant. Maybe my secondaries can finish him. Please, 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 please. Secondaries? Maybe? We're dead. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't fire them. He didn't fire them. That is perfect. Now, if that's the case, then we can just get our final shells over to here. Please don't set a fire. Wonderful, we may get a citadel here if uh, these penetrate and do enough damage. Didn't get a citadel. Oh, wow, that was a non-penetration. Okay, we are going to get knocked out, but at least we may get a chance to do some damage. Nope, 30 HP. We're dead. However, that's good because, yeah, it's a single ship that's left alive. Now we're just going to wait until the end result screen because this is a guaranteed win. And here we are in the end result screen. We won, yep, surprisingly, <laughs> quite fast there because everyone absolutely focused on him. Now, unfortunately, we only did 29,000 damage. I mean, if we had more cruisers opposed to destroyers to shoot at, then we probably could have got a much nicer score. But even so, 30k, that's, that's fair enough considering the long reload that we've got on those shells and the fact we were going for destroyers. Now, because we were going for destroyers, yeah, we needed 8.3 thousand XP. We have gotten 9.2. That is absolutely perfect, plus we got a very nice amount of free XP here, so... I mean, I'm not taking free XP into account when researching any modules, as I want this to be purely base XP, but... Obviously, I mean, these will also give you a lot of bonuses too, so I mean, 34 hits, yep, very, very good. Yeah, overall, a very, very nice score, and that's led us to get that nice amount of XP with all the modifiers, and yep, second on the team, fair enough, I will give this guy at the top a compliment. For the fact that he's come top and generally played quite well. Detailed report, so you can see, yeah, Freund, 10,000 damage, the Tatra, oh wow, okay, I think that was the entirety of his HP there, 
Same with the Fusilier as well, so we took out two destroyers, basically full HP, and then I think this Dario, I was about to say, yeah, that was the single incapacitation we got on him, and HE shells, yeah, pretty pretty mixed results there, to be fair, I mean, we had to mainly go with HG when we were going for those destroyers, and you can see all the modifiers here. So, modifiers for the credits, I mean, we've got a few here, which has added a few thousand, we've got the 200k, and even if we just had non-premium we'd still be having a good amount but overall you can see that has definitely provided quite a bit of xp so i mean commander xp that's pretty nasty that's 17k perfect but if we go to so received yep 1400 that's all we would have got modifiers wow look at all those 7000 in pure modifiers there so it's definitely that is really really helping when it's coming towards getting the next ship so that's really it and we're now going to go over to actually researching and getting the tier 4 ship the gangut so here we are now, we are currently looking at the Nyaz Sovorov, and yep, that was a single game there, which is very good, so we'll now get to the actual firing uh, firing upgrade here, so 800 experience points, 80k, very good, now that should probably give us a bit more range, I'm guessing. Yep, firing modification, get the new hull, again, 1.6k, I mean, I might as well buy these, because I'm probably going to be keeping these ships to actually, just to generally play them, because at the moment I'm literally just speedrunning through them, but I do actually want to playing them at this point in the future just to see what they're really like. Now the next one, Gangut, so 7,000 XP, brilliant, and we again will go for the Naval Academy, and we will purchase that for 1.5 million, and that is very nice, so that brings us to a grand total of 5 games. So in the next episode we're going to be going through into the Gangut, and I don't think we're going to do that in a single game, but even so we will... We'll see how much we can get from a single game at tier 4, and then the game after we will probably play in the Pitar Viliki. So, that is it from me. If you want to keep up to date and generally keep on watching this series, then make sure to subscribe as you'll be notified whenever I post a new video about this, or any other things such as dev blogs and all that sort of stuff. And that's really it for me, so I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.